What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be going over Multitunes, which is a jailbreak application off of the Big Boss repo, and it's going to let you sync multiple iTunes libraries to one device. You can do this with either the iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. And this has been a long coming problem that many iPhone and iPod and iPad users have been experiencing. They do not know how to sync multiple libraries to one device. This is an easy way to fix it. And basically it will separate all your libraries as you see on the screen right now. You'll have a default library and then any other computer's library you add, you'll have to add it under additional libraries and none of your music will ever be deleted off the device. So if you go back here, we'll see I'm in my default library and we'll have all my music load up. So let's hold on here and here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click songs. And as you see here, I have all my songs on this um, library right here. And say I want to switch to another library like desktop, which I currently have no music on. If I switch, I'm actually going to be able to sync my um, music to the desktop library and none of my music in my default library will be deleted. So if we go in here, you'll notice that I do not have any music in the desktop library if we let it load take a few seconds here and there we go it says no content so basically I can hook it up to the computer now and I can sync it and it will delete none of my music in my other libraries the only downside to this is that it doesn't let you combine all the libraries together so if I wanted to have all my music together I'm not gonna be able to do that unfortunately so let's go ahead now and back on out and go back to multi-tunes. If I click the plus button, this is where I'm going to be able to add another computer's library. If I formally tried adding another computer's library to my um, device, then it will tell me that I have to delete all my music and content off before I do so. This is basically a get around because you're tricking your iPod into thinking the library is empty. So if you would like to delete a library, click the edit button at the top left hand corner and you could actually delete the library or rename it. And that's about all. It's it's just easy like that. So guys, tell me what you think about Multitunes in the library below. It's a free application. Go ahead and download it today. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.